Today, we're eating 100 years of school lunches by time traveling to every decade to taste some of the best and worst foods ever served in a school cafeteria. On top of that, some of the foods are now banned and illegal to serve in school cafeterias, starting with the 1910s. In the 1910s, a school lunch usually consisted of corn on the cob, potato soup, bread, and some prunes. Now before we eat this, I feel like we're missing something. The hell? Wow, I love the fashion in the 1910s. We're gonna love the food even more. Let's dig in. Taste test. Mmm. Let that mouth do the. Mmm. Actually, it's not bad. You know, this was also the decade that women were allowed to vote. Go back! All right, let's move on to the next decade. 1920s, here I come. During this decade, alcohol was actually illegal, but also an average school meal cost seven cents. Thank you. School lunches consisted of beef stew, rice, pickles, and milk. Now before we eat, this is also the decade where school buses were first introduced. Let's dig in. <laughs> oh, finally some meat. Ooh. <laughs> oh! Wait, why did I hear some sucking sound? Yeah. What was up with that? Oh! Oh, the rice is good. I can dip my grilled cheese. You know the 20s are often referred to as the Roaring 20s. Oh, is that where the term school thought came from? To send me back. I want to see them ankles. <laughs> Let's nip them jack <laughs> Mr. Milkman! Got any extra milk? Wait. Where's the milk? Right here! I think I would rate this meal a... Wait, do you hear that? Wait, why is the butt shaking? Shot! Yeah, just like that! Shot! Yeah, we'll be good! Shot! Are you okay? Yeah! What are we doing? In the 1930s, a school lunch cost 10 cents. This was a decade of the Great Depression where families were living in poverty and some even died of starvation. And you won't believe what people had to eat at school lunch. Uh, what the hell is that? So a school lunch in the 1930s was a raw onion stuffed with peanut butter, vegetable broth, milk, and some mixed veggies. Before we actually eat our food, we have a special guest who went through the Great Depression to tell us what that was like and if the school lunch is accurate or not. Yeah, this is it. This is what we got. It's pretty accurate. All right, what should we eat first? Oh, you always got to eat the vegetable broth first. Okay, let's <laughs> dig in. Doesn't look too good, but what choice we got? I don't know. What is that? Ugh. Um, let's hope the next decade is better. Now we're in the 1940s where Coke was first introduced in school lunches, but was quickly removed because during the time, Coke had actual Coke as one of the ingredients. In the 1940s, school lunch costs 25 cents. A school lunch in the 1940s consisted of Spanish rice and eggs, hominy grits, and milk. Michigan! Wait, 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 wait. Before we eat, you know a lot of kids were sent home during this decade due to the funding drop from World War II, leaving a lot of kids without food for lunch. That honestly really is sad. But let's check in. Whoa, 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 Save whoa. Good for us, man. This is so much better than prison food. Oh my god, I don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't tell you that this food is good, then I don't know what will. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, this reminds me, a lot of kids actually fought over food during this decade because this was their only meal of the day. And that's where the term, give me your lunch money, actually comes from. Lunch money? Matter of fact, give me your lunch money. Hey, hey, I don't have any lunch. Ah! 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 my school campus. I think I need to go to the nurse's office. In the 1950s, a school lunch cost 35 cents. An average school lunch would consist of a sloppy joe, tomatoes, milk, and ice cream. So we're outside eating because this is actually where the greasers ate. I caught a sloppy ooh, joe. Ooh, ooh. I'm actually so excited to eat this. Before you eat the tomato, what's one part of the vegetable you can't eat? <laughs> Imagine if he finished the joke. <laughs> All right, let's actually dig in now. I like this. You guys want a bite? Mmm. Mmm. 
You guys want a bite? Whose idea was this? Here. I've never seen anyone just eat tomatoes like this. Ugh. So an interesting fact, over 50% of the kids stayed for a school dinner as well due to the baby boomer phase. Hence the term boomer. In the 1960s, school lunch was increased to 50 cents because everyone's favorite food was added to the menu. Pizza. My lady and ladies. The average school lunch at the time consisted of pizza, salad, jello, and apple juice. I'm excited to eat this pizza. You guys want to split it half for me and you guys split the other half? What if we just all take a bite? That seems more reasonable. They had regular pizza, but like square pizza is just like more popular. Oh my god. That was With that mouth dude though. That's actually good pizza. I know. It's like better in a Why don't they make pizza reason. like this anymore? I mean, seriously, <laughs> yeah. think about it. It's like the school pizza now is so bad. This was actually when the lunchbox was first advertised on TV and the moon landing happened. It didn't happen. Scientifically, it's just, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to control myself. Wait, you Whoa. actually don't believe in a moon landing? No. Wait, do you actually not? I don't. I really, you don't believe in a moon landing? I think it's fake. I think it would have costed more money to fake it than to do it for real. Agree to disagree. Yeah. But me landing on that ass was real. Hey, yo. <laughs> what do you think of the meal overall? Well, the jello was good, the pizza was good, and ladies, you can have a pizza me. In the 1970s, school lunch cost 75 cents. And it consisted of a hamburger, fries, pudding, and coke. Mm, mm, mm. This looks good. This is the year when school lunches became the most unhealthy. Yeah, this is probably Alex's favorite year. Dang. Dude, that this pudding is good. Mm. I don't think pudding would be good for you, Alex. Please. You shouldn't be eating anymore. Yeah. No, no, I actually, no, hey, 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 dude. Barely fit in that outfit. Dude, that pudding is so good. <laughs> There's actually a hole right here. <laughs> in the 1980s, school lunch cost one dollar. Thank you. And they consisted of baked chicken, mashed potatoes, brownies, corn, and apple juice. All right, so 1980s was actually year of the jocks. Yeah, I'm happy we time traveled to this timeline. Cause give me the jock box. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah, jock box. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 Moments later. Why don't you try the balls later and try some meat? Mm. How's that? Pretty good? Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna try the chicken. That is one big chicken nugget. Whoa. I gotta know this is unhealthy because this is really good. I will say this, I know this tastes good, but federal budget cuts reduced school lunches by one billion dollars, which is why in the 1980s they had highly processed food. Probably it's gonna give us upset stomachs. Wait, my stomach hurts. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't know if I want to finish this meal after that. 24 hours later. In the 1990s, school lunch cost $1.25, so I ain't paying. An average school lunch would consist of McDonald's, Pizza Hut, or Taco Bell, along with a side dish and lemonade. This is what I eat every day. Nah, that's way too much food, Tanner. Nah, not enough. Let's <laughs> dig in. Oh. Mm. I feel like this was definitely everyone's favorite school lunches, but this is why everyone got obese. <laughs> <laughs> Unhealthiest? What are you talking about? <laughs> this wasn't served every single day. I think it was only served on Fridays. Mm. Damn it! We should probably stop eating and go to the next decade where we all get too fat. I think it's too late for that. In the 2000s, school lunch now skyrocketed to $1.75. Let me get that number. For $1.75, you would get mini corn dogs, hash browns, a pear, chocolate milk, and fruit roll up. Ooh, this is the OG fruit roll up. I remember this from first grade. And corn dogs. I used to trade the little wieners for other people's corn Yeah, because I didn't like the wieners. I didn't wieners. like the wieners, yes, yeah, but I liked the cornbread. And it was always Sean who wanted the wiener. Yeah. 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 It started from a young age, man. It's starting to make sense now. Give me yeah. the corn bar. 
going back to it, like it was definitely weird for someone to accept the wiener. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I'm six years old again. I know. It's pretty good. And as you guys can see, the mills were slightly getting healthier due to the alarming rates of obesity in the 90s. Glad I didn't grow up in that time era, because you would be even fatter. <laughs> <laughs> I would see a lot of kids playing fruit roll-up chicken. I actually want to play, to try it out. You're going to face Alan. Okay. And you're going to stick the fruit roll-up in your mouth, and you guys are going to keep eating it, and the first person to chicken out oh. loses. Go. <laughs> yeah, let me join in the fun. Let me join, let me join. <laughs> Keep going. You're not even close. Save some room for me, guy. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I'm done, I quit. I quit. That was way too close. <laughs> but ladies, I wouldn't chicken out with you. Let's move on to the next decade. In 2010, which is actually both of our years, school lunch was around $2.50 for us. And the average meal consisted of spaghetti and meatballs, a bread roll, green beans, and fat-free milk. And you guys might be wondering why we're in the school restroom. And it's because we've eaten lunch quite a few times in here. Yeah, we'd eat in a big handicap stall. It was the most awkward thing grabbing your lunch trying to find somewhere to sit when there was nowhere to sit, so we would actually eat in the restroom. Yeah. <laughs> but all right, let's try the food. I'll try the bread roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is bland. The spaghetti and meatballs might look good, but they taste way too healthy. Yes, the 2010s had the worst tasting food because of how healthy they tried to make it. Just like back then, I'm hungry, so I'm just gonna eat. <laughs> but usually consisted of a healthy meat wrap, mac and cheese, carrots, bananas, and apple juice. And before we eat this meal, we actually have a very special guest here, a subscriber. Would you say the school lunch is accurate? Is this something you've eaten at school before? This is pretty accurate, but I feel like there's a lot more options that could be put on oh. this plate. And how much is a school lunch now? Five dollars. Oh. Whoa, 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 you could buy a hundred meals from the 1920s. I could buy lotion with five dollars. What do you want to try first? What, what's your favorite dish here? Banana. Banana? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> banana. <laughs> oh! Do kids make fun of you at school if you eat a banana, if a guy eats a banana, or do you have to chop it up and eat it with a fork? Some people are weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's dig in. I like this. I wish this was around when I went to school. We just had cold pizza. Now that we were done with our meal, we had one giant surprise for our subscriber. All right, so in our last video, we mentioned that we would be giving away a special surprise to a subscriber. You can open your eyes. You're joking, right? This is yours. It's yours. Actually? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. In loving memory off Maju Perry. Ha <laughs> ha.